an awesome announcement had students and staff jumping for joy. A TV personality returned to his alma mater. And as 7's Lynn Martinez tells us, he surprised the school with a multi-million dollar moment. Loves Christopher Columbus High School. Please join me in welcoming from the class of 1991, Marcus Limones. 30 years after TV personality Marcus Limones graduated from Christopher Columbus High School, he's back with a big fat present. All students and all employees were summoned to the football field for the big announcement, but they couldn't imagine this. Today I'll be providing a $3.1 million tip. The kids are like, what did he say? Today I'll be providing a $3.1 million tip. They heard that. <laughs> It's all part of Limonis' The Great American Tip-Off, a nationwide call to tip well to hardworking Americans, including every person who works at that school. Whether you're a school teacher, whether you are in the maintenance department, every single employee will receive a check for $18,000. But wait, there's more. So in addition to the $3.1 million, I'm making an additional $7 million gift to the, to the high school so that we can fund certain things. All of it coming out of his pocket. Honestly, I, I think it's important to recognize school teachers in America. We have school teachers who are fighting to get their books paid for and all these other things. And these folks are working for a minimum amount of money. And so the fact that this school did what it did for me, for me to give the largest tip in American history to what I think is the most important service provider in America, that's, that's really what it boils down to. It's going to be incredible. There's a lot of programs that we've wanted to put into the school and haven't been able to do it up until now. The college counseling is going to be a, a huge program. And even though Columbus is a private school, Lamona says they quietly help underprivileged kids. Columbus provides a lot more than people know. It provides opportunities for kids to go to school here for free that can't afford it. It doesn't wave the flag. And whether it's at this school or any other wonderful school in Miami, it's about providing these kids the opportunity. Lynn Martinez, 7 News.